welcome to Kindy Science. This is our very first online class. So I'm learning something new today and hopefully you're learning something new today too. Over the next 10 weeks, we're going to be learning all about the human body. And we're going to be talking about the skeleton, blood, our heart and our lungs, we're also going to talk about digestion, our stomachs and our large and small intestines. How do we get all of that energy and nutrients out of the food and into our body? We're also going to talk about the liver, kidneys, skin and how to stay healthy. But today we're going to do an activity where we see what you know already about the human body. What are the different parts and where do they go? Now helping me today, I've got James and Rose and they're going to show you some of the ways that you can do this activity and then we're going to see what they know about the human body. So let's get to it. There are three different options we can use for this activity. You could use a concreted area and some chalk, like a big driveway. You could use paper and crayons, like butcher's paper or a big piece of cardboard. Or if you've got one, a wall-mounted blackboard and some chalk. James and Rose will now demonstrate. The first way we're going to do this activity is to do an outline of James's body on the concrete. Now, we've done this earlier, so James can stand up. And we can see we've got an outline of James's body here. I'd be careful where you're going to do this. It may look like a crime scene. James and Rose will now demonstrate using paper and crayons. So Rose is going to lie on the paper for us. And James is going to get a crayon pen and draw around Rose's body. This may get a little bit boring watching James draw around Rose, so let's speed it up a little bit. Okay, stand up Rose. Okay, we've got a tracing around Rose's body. We're now going to demonstrate the blackboard and chalk method. As you can see, we've traced around the kids' bodies already. James and Rose are then going to take their chalk and colour in the outlines, putting in all of the different body parts, starting with the skeleton, then the heart and the blood and the lungs and the liver kidney and if you watch they they have a few discussions about this we've sped up the footage just to make it a little more interesting and entertaining to watch
James and Rose thought they knew where all the body parts went. But when they were actually asked to draw it on their tracings, on the blackboard, they had a lot of trouble with it. They really didn't know where the parts of the body went. But that's okay. They had a lot of discussion with each other trying to work it out. And you might find that you're going to do that too. So what will your drawing look like when you start to put the body parts in? So I've started by putting a skeleton in here. My drawing isn't very good and it doesn't need to be. We're just getting a bit of an idea of what you know about the human body. So there I'm drawing the rib cage. I've drawn a skull. Let's put some arm bones in. A spine. A hip bone. And now some leg bones. We're really lucky. We've got an internal skeleton, which means it protects our internal organs and gives us form and function, makes us strong. Other creatures have got external skeletons, skeletons on the outside, like crustaceans, crabs and prawns, and insects. So it means if you break their external skeleton, they have a lot of trouble. Okay, the heart. Now this caused James and Rosa a, a, a few problems. The heart we think of is in our chest. So it's in our chest a little bit to the left. And then our lungs, they're also in our chest under those rib cages. So next thing is the blood. Where does the blood go? all around the body but it's a bit hard to draw all of the different blood vessels so we'll just draw some blood vessels going from the heart down to the the fingers and the toes and around the head kidneys now kidneys are actually at the back just above your hip bones and we've got two of them they're about the size of your fist Liver, that's in the middle, and it's a big organ. Then we have the stomach. We know that's in the middle. Rub your stomach. And then our small and large intestine curls down to the outside. And last thing, the skin. The skin holds it all together and it protects us from invaders getting inside our body. That's why we're really quick to repair when we get a cut. Now, yours may not look exactly like this, but that's okay. Mine's not perfect either. <laughs>